Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. So, I hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, and I am stoked. All right, quests suck. All right, let's be real here. Nobody's like, yes, logs into the game. First thing you want to do is like, all right, we got to get the quest done. I mean, maybe you say that because you got to get them done for like minimums and stuff, but like nobody is psyched to get quests done. All right, because they suck. All right, let's be real here. Um, they're a pain to do. It depends on which ones you get. Sometimes it's easier. Sometimes it's more difficult The follow like 11 times with a particular dragon is so freaking annoying um, And PG has listened people. I mean people have been complaining about it for like a century now um, So PG has finally listened so they are changing the way that team quests work and the goal is to make quests less burdensome and more related to the active event by the way, guys, these visuals are made by Shadow Birds. Shout out to her. Um, you can check her link down below in the description. Uh, follow her on Instagram, which is where these were posted. So, changes include each player can contribute five quests for a total of 250 quests per team. Quests randomly generate out of a predetermined list unique to each player, some quests scale by player level. Team quest awards based off of total number of quests done. Quests no longer have varying point values. So, what this means is... At the very beginning of the event, all right, is you're going to be given five quests. It's not going to be like one quest per day, at least from my understanding, from this data. Um, so you get five quests at the start of the day and whenever, or sorry, at the start of the event. And throughout the event, you have the ability to work on these quests. These quests will be relatable to whatever the current event is. These total quests, so let's say you complete all five. That that five, that number five, is going to add into the total amount of quests completed by your team. For a total, obviously, of 250 if you have 50 members. If you don't have 50 members, you obviously can't get to 250. Simple math. Um, surprisingly, I, I don't know how I did that in my head. Um, so, the prizes. So what this is going to look like is, in order to get the final chest achievement, um, it's going to require 240 total quests done. Which means you have 10, 10, like, I guess the, the leniency here is 10 quests not completed by your entire team. Which is a little bit scary, not gonna lie, because in the old quest system, if you had people who did their quest every single day, got 300 or plus, um, you could have somebody who did, like, zero quests, or even a couple people who did zero quests at all, but they got carried by the other people. This is gonna make it to where every single player has to complete those quests, or else you're not going to be able to get the final um, chest achievement. So I think that's good. I like that idea. Um, I think it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. Um, you know, activity is going to be crucial. I mean, even more so. The nice thing is, though, that hopefully this won't require as much time. Because instead of, what, 15 quests, some of them taking forever, um, you only have five to complete a week. So that's awesome. And this is the uh, example. So in breeding, finish number of balloon missions. Uh, you know, earn XP. Collect breeding tokens, uh, for it, transfer lumber, claim lumber, loot lumber. I mean, that makes more sense. This makes much more sense. Now, the PvP ones are interesting. Earn number of flames. That's interesting. Because um, that would still, like, kind of allow you to have some workarounds with, like, Miss Mercy and all those bases. But, anyways, uh, spend number of energy, make numbers of super attacks or wildfire attacks. They better not make it to where it's make... A certain amount of super attacks because that's gonna make it to where people who are free to play can't complete one of those quests because i have some free to play players who like will not use a super attack because it's not as efficient like that you know so i'm really hoping they don't like almost force players to use that type of thing but anyways uh win number of battles and clear number of bases with 100 percent destruction so honestly i mean no complaints here i think that this is going to be an interesting update i think it was much uh very much needed um, for the game, and I, I, you know, I'm happy. I'll we'll see how it goes. Definitely, there's not gonna there's not gonna be a whole lot of room for error. But I think if you have a really active team, at least you know people who are logging in at some point during the event, you should be good. You should be okay. Um, but yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think down in the comments section, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.